The New York Times has published an explosive opinion piece. It's allegedly written by a senior White House official claiming that he's part of the resistance inside the Trump administration. For obvious reasons, that publication was anonymous. Here are some excerpts. I work for the president, but like-minded colleagues and I have vowed to thwart parts of his agenda and his worst inclinations. On Russia, for instance, the president was reluctant to expel so many of Mr. Putin's spies as punishment for the poisoning of a former Russian spy in Britain. But his national security team knew better. Such actions had to be taken to hold Moscow accountable. This isn't the work of the so-called deep state. It's the work of the steady state. It may be called comfort in this chaotic era, but Americans should know that there are adults in the room. As you'd expect, Donald Trump has personally reacted to that publication. He lashed out at the newspaper and called the article gutless. They don't like Donald Trump, and I don't like them because they're very dishonest people. Remember this also about the New York Times. When I won, they were forced to apologize to their subscribers. They wrote a letter of apology. It was the first time anybody's ever done it because they covered the election incorrectly. So if the failing New York Times has an anonymous editorial, can you believe it? Anonymous, yeah. meaning gutless, a gutless editorial. We discuss this controversial publication with the former New York Times reporter and Pulitzer Prize winning journalist plus host of RT America's On Contact, that's Chris Hedges. Institutions like the New York Times, where I worked for 15 years, uses language about the president that uh, would have been wholly unacceptable when I was there, uh, calling him a liar uh, day in and day out. Uh, that doesn't mean he didn't lie, uh, but uh, presidents lie all the time. Uh, and every administration I covered lied, starting with the Reagan administration. So uh, this is really a war on the part of the establishment press, uh, the Washington establishment, uh, to take down Trump. And, and, and what we saw with that uh, op-ed piece, which I, I suspect is probably true, is part of that effort. And the deep state is real, um, and it is a powerful entity that no president really can challenge. Uh, uh, either you serve the interests of the deep state, and that's essentially corporate power, in particular the power of the war industry, uh, or you're crushed by it. 